हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संतोष कुमार ऑर्थोपेडिक एंड जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जन बेस्ड इन कोलकाता एंड इट हैज़ बीन माय इंडिवर टू ब्रिंग द वर्ल्ड्स बेस्ट इन ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी राइट हियर इन कोलकाता टू यू एट द मोस्ट अफोर्डेबल प्राइसेस वी हैव बीन मेकिंग वीडियोस सो दैट यू गेट इन्फॉर्म्ड अबाउट योर डिजीज एंड टेक राइट डिसीजन्स सो इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव मेड सेवरल वीडियोज एंड टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स पर्टेनिंग टू सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स नॉट ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स पर्टेनिंग टू द शोल्डर जॉइंट now shoulder joint is the most mobile joint of our body we can move our arm in any direction we want no other joint in the body is as mobile as shoulder joint now the problem of this the issue is that this mobility comes at a expense of instability and this instability leads to uh, shoulder dislocation several times the shoulder is the most common joint to be dislocated in our body so because it is most mobile it is most unstable and it comes out gets dislocated several times most of the times it's anterior dislocation uh, that is it comes forward sometimes it it goes backward also and uh, once the dislocation has occurred most of the times we can just give anesthesia and reduce the dislocation we can uh, manipulate and reduce the dislocation and we have to immobilize the shoulder joint for 3 weeks at least but sometimes due to other injuries or lack of immobilization it can keep on uh, uh, recurrently dislocating and like it can keep on dislocating repeatedly this is known as re uh, recurrent dislocation of shoulder so this is another issue that we get several times so if there is a recurrent dislocation of shoulder then we have to do arthroscopic we have to do mri first we have to do mri first identify the lesions if possible we do arthroscopy and we reconstruct it so this is how a shoulder joint uh, arthroscopy looks like there are three portals that portals means there are keyholes which are made through one of them telescope goes through others instrument and the sutures go and we can see everything on a big tv screen and uh, like in knee arthroscopy and this is how we do now this is this is uh, what is known as bankart's lesion in recurrent dislocation one of the commonest lesions wherein the uh, the holding the reinforcing cartilage comes off the bone once the reinforcing cartilage comes off the bone uh it is uh, repaired with the bone it is sutured back with the bone using special sutures and this is known as bankart repair with anchor now what is an anchor anchor is a suture material in which uh, uh, one part goes inside the bone so it is something which is you can put inside the bone and then we can suture things with like that so uh this is how this is known as bankart repair we have been routinely doing it through arthroscopy in shoulder recurrent dislocation this is how it looks like in the real uh photo before that we have made a schematic photo for you to understand another problem that we get in shoulder joint is rotator cuff tendinitis and rotator cuff tear now what is this rotator cuff rotator cuff is the uh, group of muscles which moves this shoulder joint out of which the supraspinatus the muscle which goes over here under the bone here is the most important muscle in lifting of the arm actually it is placed between two bones uh one is the humeral head that is the humeral head one is the humeral head and other one is the acromion so between these two bones it is susceptible to uh wear and tear due to lack of space or due to it is susceptible to injury uh, sometimes it is sports injuries like uh like a fast bowler can get in cricket or a tennis player can get so it can get torn this is known as rotator cuff tear now this is a very big issue and this needs to be addressed this rotator cuff tear needs to be addressed so we normally do an mri we normally do an mri to see this rotator cuff tear because it is not directly seen in x ray and uh, once mri is done we proceed several times the if the tear is not complete just giving space to the tendon by decompressing can help that is known as subacromial decompression like this is the acromion bone and this is the humerus bone so the tendon is going in between these two bones these two bones and it is susceptible to impingement because of lack of space so several times there is a synovial uh, material which is known as bursa it comes in between so we shave this we remove this and that is known as bursectomy and this gives more space to the uh, rotator cuff and several times the pain gets relieved with this even after repair we do it so that uh, it doesn't get further impinged and further wear and tear can be stopped so this is how a rotator cuff is repaired it is used uh, suture anchors are used anchors have uh, screw like things which go inside the bone and from there the repair can be done and it, the repair is done close to the bone so closest to the bone because the tear is actually closest to the bone that is why anchors are needed normal sutures and the number of anchors that we use depends on the amount of tear and etc it can be variable number 
and we get immediate uh, strength as far as possible several times along with this rotator cuff tear there may be tendinitis of the biceps tendon biceps tendon is the tendon which comes in front so there is uh, there is an inflammation which can lead to pain and pain in movement especially forward lifting and others so this is known as tendinitis of the biceps which can be again solved or be or solved arthroscopically and several times as we discussed creating more space in the acromion which is known as subacromial decompression can itself solve the problem of uh, shoulder pain several times it is possible and this is how a rotator cuff tear looks like in the real picture and uh, this is how we repair it this is how we repair it using suture anchors so several times uh, several types of problems of shoulder can be solved with arthroscopy and if you have any queries you can write to us uh, on my email id santdr@gmail.com or you can um, whatsapp me at 9831911584 thank you